Oh my lord, 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 it's not a one, oh my lord, it's not a one, it's not a one, it's time for some intel on Love and Marriage Huntsville, and you here for it, you just watched the episode, and now you want to talk about, it. well, let's get into it. everything on this channel is a legend, in my opinions, for entertainment purposes only, once again, everything on this channel is a legend, in my opinions, for entertainment purposes only, once again, everything on this channel is a legend, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. So let's get into it. Um, so Kiki and Armin are at a storage facility. Um, Armin wants to move for their son um, for his football career. He's one of the top um, athletes in Huntsville. And, you know, Tisha, you know, said something about like, you know, why are they moving or said something about their kid and it's just like Tisha you 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 don't care about Kiki so that means you don't care about her kids he's like stop the cap just stop the cap like and you wonder why people are coming for you because you create issues that you don't take responsibility for so ah, lord it, it, it was astounding to me that <laughs> astounding to me that you were standing in a building for your company, for y'all company, but for, and you were looking forward to signing new contracts, but yet y'all can't complete your own contracts that you already have. But whatever, though, whatever, though, we're going to move on. So Kiki doesn't like Armin making decisions without thinking about the family and, and, uh, and uprooting the other two kids, which Kiki said that they have liked those schools um, since kindergarten and that, you know, Armin said that one of the other kids, you know, they, they, they're a little bit, they're a little bit um, out the way, you know what I mean, in terms of um, them being a kid. But, like, truly, what kid hasn't been a kid before? Like, come on, man. Like, I get one to move for your son's career, but also, too, stability is key. You know what I mean? So that's why I truly think about all that. Um, so I get I get where I mean wants to elevate his son because you want to give your son everything you have. But also, too, um, that can create a bit of resentment um after a while because it's like okay dad you always try to elevate him but what about us we're here too in the family and that happens in families all the time um and every family has different notes beats and rhythms and melodies and um and, and they have different ways of going about things but that's a real thing so i hope armin understands why kiki is saying that i think kiki is trying to recognize that even though she's going through everything she's going through that doesn't mean that she's not giving um the best that she can and so shout out to kiki um for doing that yes indeed so um so then melody um you know calls kiki and you know asks if she can pull up um to the storage facility and so kiki says sure i'll give you the address and so kiki pulls up and, you know, they they recap what happened um, at the barbecue. And, you know, um, you know, Melody said that, you know, Tisha said that she really ex respects Armin. And Armin said that that's a lie. <laughs> she phony. And that Kiki said that, you know, Tisha has never respected Armin since that since um, Kiki and him dated. And Melody was like, oh, that can't be true. And Melody was like, oh y'all aren't playing oh damn <laughs> so you know armin says that he has respect for um maurice but he says that his brother narso or marso is not cut from the same um cloth there um and that he in in basically at the end of the day you know kiki um has regret does have regret rather for where they are, but she has regret for what she did. And that Kiki is trying to do better with her anger and anger management. And so, you know, this big storyline of, you know, Kiki's on drugs and, you know, she's not competent, this and that, all around the way, I, I, I. Melody is straight up real. She says, you know, I think to shut down all the rumors, you know, I think you are clean. You know, let's sh let's prove them wrong. I I want you to take a drug test. I want you to take a drug test, and I brought one. And so I'm like, Melody, you really are that girl, okay? And so, and so as we get to the preview here, um, you know, Kiki is asking for a lie detector test 
for Narso or Marso. Um, Tisha does not um, want to talk about Kiki. Um, T- Tisha believes that Kiki is still taking drugs and had nothing to lose. And Melody asked a very, you know, poignant question. Do you actually know? And notice how Tisha doesn't give a definitive answer. Just like she can't give a definitive answer for anything that anybody holds her to account. But yet she can give an opinion on everybody else's business. But okay. So, you know, um, you know, Stormy and Kiki meet up. Um, and apparently, um, <laughs> Kiki wasn't even trying to come for Tisha. Kiki wanted to come for Tiffany because, you know, I, and, and, and listen, I'm just going to say this and this is just a prediction, but I have a feeling there's going to be a particular interview that is going to come up in this episode, um, coming up with Kiki and Tiffany. And for those of you who don't know, Kiki and Tiffany have not been good for a while. Like I said about Tiffany, just, you know, agreeing with Tisha because Kiki and Tiffany just are not on good terms ever since that um, etiquette tea that Melody Cherie threw, right? So I got a feeling that Kiki and Tiffany are going to once again get into it. Um, but why am I bringing all this up? Because basically... Kiki tells Stormy that Tiffany is talking about Stormy's products that they're beeswax and they're not this and that and they're not good and something and a lot of other things. So then we get to Melody's um, name changing ceremony. Um, and so, you know, her mom, Vanessa, comes through and, um, you know, Melody did not open up her, um, did not open up the letter from the, Hunt, the city of Huntsville yet. And so then, you know, Martell and Nell get into it. And so, you know, you know, Martell said, I want to know who's going to the name chair, name changing ceremony, who aren't, who's not my friend. And so, <laughs> Lord help. Martell, like, she's not your wife anymore. She can change her name if she wants to. If she wants to change it to, you know, um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to, th- you know what, if she wanted to change it to Melody Cherie Woodpecker to be Woody Woodpecker's, you know, wife, she can do that. <sighs> Good damn, you don't have control, bro. Jesus Christ, you people are, there's a lot of words, there's a lot of adjectives that can be said. But anyway, so, you know, um, Martell, you know, brings up that, you know, Melody cheated and you know that you know and also that martell says that you to now that you guys need to quit going in on mental so, so hard and they'll say well maybe well maybe you mention f up everything all the time <sighs> martell you don't got a lot of friends bro <sighs> you arguing with a black woman at her doorstep on national television and you already are in a situation with your ex-best friend hopefully that you haven't moved out of his house because you wanted him to do what you want him to follow your directions but you didn't want to care about him and you did this to his wife oh dude it's it's game over for you so honestly what do i think about all of that truly with kiki um you know, like I said before, people are pulling for Kiki. Um, people want to see Kiki well. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I really do think if Kiki and Armin joined the show full time, I think it would be a better show because they seem to have a realness that is genuine. Like, I'm going to be real. If they pulled Tisha and Marceau and Maurice and Kimmy, nobody would care. I'm just going to be real. Nobody would care not here, not there, not anywhere, not in Arkansas, not in Ohio, not anywhere around the world, Sam, I am. (laughs) Okay? You bring in Nell and Chris, and, you know, listen, there's got to be other couples there, but here's the thing. I think also, too, y'all remember that Bravo lawsuit that's happening, right? Um, There's a clip from um, Hustlers and Housewives that I got to watch, because I've Listen, I think that 
I think that lawsuit is going to say a lot. And as you guys know, uh, November 3rd through the 5th is literally this coming weekend of BravoCon. But why am I bringing that up? Because at the end of the day, or at the beginning, middle, end of the day, Warner Bros. Discovery may also be getting a lawsuit too. Because if, they, if, if and Bravo is the biggest crackdown of reality TV, that's going to permeate through everywhere. So the only way this show moves forward is if it's a new production company, a new executive producer, and they allow the show to breathe, evolve, and be something for the people instead of just anything existing on TV. So that is my take, everybody. One love, much love, all of this has been another edition of Brainly's Virtual Tour Pit Stop. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah,